Hey folks, just had a phone call from one of my viewers here, Larry. Thank you for the question here. It was regarding plumbing on a monolithic slab where we've got a brick ledge or masonry ledge. For purposes of this, I've got my standard brick wall and I'm going to go into wall types to answer a couple of questions. One is I've got my framing here, fur stud, five and a half inches wide, seven sixteenths sheathing, um, house wrap, one inch air gap, three inch ledge, or three inch brick. Then um, what we could do here, th this is how it's set up right now, but uh, um, as I'm defining this, a an idea just popped into my head and maybe we'll explore that after a bit but there's my layers my four exterior layers um, for depth of brick ledge you go into the wall properties right here and wall settings you set this as your depth here I could change that to six inches and once we build the um, foundation we can show you how, where that changes what that changes but I think you understand brick ledge depth um, we're going to build the platform to this layer we're going to build the we're going to dim dimension to this first stud layer and we're going to build the foundation to the red brick five layer in this in this wall type definition um, Sometimes, I, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing maybe I want to set it up that I don't want it built to this uh, layer. i got to figure that out. But for now, the outside of the brick is going to align with the outside of the um, foundation. I'm going to add one more sixteenth, so I'm going to do one and one sixteenth to the insulation air gap so that I have an actual ten and a half inch thick, not ten and seven sixteenths thick um, wall. All right, you can notice that. this brick ledge depth changes this extension out here too. So you could have multiple um, and varying, apparently, varying uh, depths. Let's say that goes down six and this goes down uh, four. So that's your extension column. I'm going to click OK, click OK here. And I don't have a foundation yet, but let's uh, let's go into our foundation here and tell it this is going to be a monolithic slab and we're going to do we'll just leave it at 16 slab thickness is 4 that's fine alright done now I'm going to build a foundation It's already set at monolithic slab because I just changed the defaults. Monolithic slab, that's fine. 16 inch depth. Uh, 16 inch uh, concrete stem wall is fine. We'll, we'll leave it at that. And I'm going to click OK. My... If I turn on my um, reference layer, It's really, really kind of difficult to see possibly here. You can see how this, this line is, is kind of this teal color. That's the outside of the brick. There's the brick ledge. So if, we, if I measure that in a second, um, that would be the, would we have three, four and a half inches. And then there's the inside of, this, is, this red line is the inside of the, uh, uh, of the wall above 
and this would be the inside, this would be my 16 overall. Let's see if I can prove that. Now, in this sense, when I have my reference layer on, there is something to snap to when I'm drawing a polyline. Not something to snap to when I'm drawing a dimension, but I can snap to it when I'm drawing a polyline. So this is my framing layer. I'm going to drag a uh, line over here and check the uh, length of that. That's 4 and 65 128ths. That's 64 128ths is, is 4 and a half inches. Overall, there's 16 inches. And this is 6 inches, so this red line actually represents the drywall inside, not the, not the uh, framing layer. Now, let's turn off my reference layers. I have three lines representing the outside of the brick and the outside of the foundation. This is the brick ledge. Remember we set that at 8 inches deep. And here's the inside. Let's take a section of this. And if we auto detail, there's your depth, your brick ledge depth. You take a tape measure here. That's six inches deep. Did we set that at six or eight? I thought we set that at eight. Let's see what we did here. Six six inches deep. And then our remember we set our drywall four inches deep. That extension was only four inches deep. So there's that dimension, four inches deep. This is says four and nine sixteenths. Why is that 4 and 9 sixteenths? This should be 7 sixteenths, that is. This should be 1 and 1 sixteenth. So this would be 1 and a half. That should be 3. So that's 4 and a half. Why is it measuring 4 and 9 sixteenths? Oh, because it's that 65 1 28ths. Somehow there's 1 128th of an inch in there. But that's how you would get your your brick ledge. Now, the next the original question was how to dimension to the form. I'm assuming this form is outside here, right? Your 2 by 12 form, the inside of it lines right up with this uh, foundation wall. So let's do an auto dimension here. Uh, let's go into, let's delete these. Twenty four foot nine and a sixteenth. Let's make sure this is twenty four foot. 20 feet. Something in that definition is adding that extra 16th, but um, if you want to change it, then just make it 24 foot 9. Okay. If you're wanting to measure, say, a to the center of plumbing, like so, right? If 
first of all, I've got to make sure my end-to-end -end is going to locate cat objects. There we go. Now that's measuring to the outside. What I would say, this is the form. But are you measuring to the form of this brick ledge here? Is that, is that what we're talking about? I, no, this line here in the middle of this uh, foundation wall cannot be snapped to. So, the quick way of doing that is select the outside of the outside room, the exterior room if you will, and I'm going to alter this floor plan to be a really wild floor plan. Let's um, I'm even going to do this just for sake of time we're going to assume that this is the same footprint as the first floor and so I have this brick ledge line all the way around I'm going to select that outside floor plan first of all I'm going to go into my um, I know how to do it with my with my toolbars, but I'm going to try to figure out how to do, how do I remember how to do this in uh, edit be coordinate system behaviors. There we go. Go to your preferences. Edit preferences. Behaviors under the edit menu behaviors. We're going to concentrically jump. 4.5 inches. Select my exterior room and create a room polyline down here with that room selected. And then as I grab this corner handle I'm going to pull it just one click and there's my polyline all the way around and if you're wanting to measure to that line I'm going to go back to edit preferences. I'm going to change my behaviors again. Jump zero and go back to default. Then I could measure from this line to the to the uh, brick to that polyline. That's the quick way of creating this as an actual brick ledge and act this brick ledge line as an actual line that you can snap to. But again I I would always measure to the form what I think of as the form out here but it, it depends on how the how the plumber wants to measure it. Um, as long as they understand what what's what and what's the line is um, representing etc then uh, I think we're good. Hope that's helpful. Uh, talk to you later.